Hey guys, today is sheet day. So I'm about to throw those in the washer. It's also hat day, which I'm not liking. My hair needs to be shampooed. Needs a good washing. And I'm thinking a bun might be easier than a hat today because I'm not feeling the hat. It matches the shirt, but I ain't feeling it. But I did need to throw these in here. And I just noticed that Noah put part of his uniform in here. I don't know if he put all of it in here or just part of it. Last night, whenever he got home, I saw part of his apron. It's fine. I don't care. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I never can get these hairs on the side to do right when I wear a hat. So I don't know. But I've got to be, I'm going to be. What am I saying? I don't know. I'm going to be doing the sheets and the towels today. And otherwise, I don't know if I have any more laundry that would be enough. Unless Noah has enough to make a load from his bathroom. Oh, I thought that was falling. It was just wobbling. Um, I don't know if I mentioned yesterday that Jeff had to work tonight. Well, he, uh, and I don't know, know if I mentioned this because I can't remember. I just can't remember. Anyway, they canceled it, so he doesn't have to work. So, he's hunting. So, he's still not here. But, um, and Noah has a bad habit. He'll drink milk. Yeah, he drinks that much milk at a time. And then he'll leave his cup in his room for just a couple hours, just long enough for the milk to get dried in the bottom. Then he'll put it in the sink to, re uh, soak and then somebody else inevitably has to put it in the dishwasher which is normally me there wasn't enough dishes to actually wash last night so i didn't do the dishes uh, i didn't run the washer and i have said before there are time what is this cup that's just got water in it was he just drinking water and left it sitting there or is that another milk No, I'm confused. I think it's another milk cup, and I keep coming closer and crazy with the camera. Um, it's 10 o'clock. I woke up at 8. Oh, goodness. I woke up at 8, took my medicine, rolled over for just a minute to wake up, fell back asleep. Until 9. So I slept an extra hour. But I didn't go to bed until about 2 last night because my video that went out, the Stalogy, it was giving me trouble. I'll wait to wash my hands. It was giving me trouble loading. Um, I don't, it was my internet being slow, which is ridiculous because I pay for high speed internet. But anyways, um, it was going slow, so I was up later. Ooh, I look rough. Y'all don't look at me. I'll be back. Okay, so I got the cups all in the dishwasher. Got my coffee started. Um, I need to learn how to do that. The clothes started. Cat fed. My hair changed because I couldn't do it. I couldn't do the hat. It was making my head hurt worse. Um, I am trying to get my schedule back to a good one yesterday I slept till like 10 today I fell back asleep until 9 which I always wake up at 8 to take my medicine but um anyway I've been going to bed earlier and everything and I've been trying to do that and it seems to be causing me to have some headaches or maybe it's just the weather we have had storms and rains which yesterday like the last three days is when I woke up with a headache and I ended up sleeping in two days like later than what I was trying to um I started this video which is the one that's supposed to come out tonight which is your yesterday I started it before I started the other one and it's supposed to be finished 
Oh, great. Now it just told me it couldn't be uploaded. After that many hours? Oh my, for goodness. So, y'all will know this already. The video may be late. <laughs> you, you would already have known this. I don't know what happened. This has happened several times recently. And I'm beginning to wonder uh, if YouTube doesn't like my editing software. But the editing software is not that old. I don't know if it's that or if it is my internet. Or if it's the internet acting stupid because of the weather. Because it seems like every time it rains. Like we did have a few days of not much rain. And then all of a sudden it just started raining again a lot. And then the internet started acting stupid. I really think it's the rain after talking to y'all. It's probably the rain. But yeah. I don't know. Uh, we made our menu plan last night. And um, what we're supposed to have tonight, we didn't put on the menu plan last week. I don't know if I want that. Um, I may send Jeff a text and find out if he wants to do something different. I don't know yet. Um, it'd be simple to change it. I really wanted it. I don't know if I want it or not. It's potato soup. It's super easy to make, but I just don't know if I want that. But anyways, we did the menu plan. We did the grocery list, which the grocery list is very small. I, I wrote it on a post-it, um, which part of it is salad stuff, which means whatever things look good to put in a salad. Like if the, well, we already have cucumber. Whenever I write down salad stuff, if the broccoli looks good, we'll buy that. If the spinach looks good, we'll buy that. If um, we always buy some sort of lettuce, whichever lettuce looks best, either iceberg, romaine, the green leaf, the mixed spring mix bundle, whatever you want to call it, we buy whatever. But um, we just put salad stuff and whatever works out, works out. And I know y'all haven't been seeing us eat a lot of salads, but we'll eat them like for lunch or we'll eat them for, you know, not dinner. And, um, so we just don't, oh, let me go finish my coffee. What am I doing today? I don't know. I'm just talking to y'all right now. But the only things I know that I have planned is hopefully get that video up before 6 p.m. And, um, the laundry. I don't have any other plans for today because Jeff was not supposed to be off work and now he is. So this evening he'll be home. I don't know what we're doing. I would like for us to do a real date night. We haven't done a real date night, you know, in a long time. But then I don't want to leave Noah home alone. It feels so stupid to even think that. Oh, also I had... Oh, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all this story. I'm going to be embarrassed, but I'm going to tell you, but that's okay. Okay, well, Selena needs some things that she's accustomed to. It's not necessarily things you have to have to live, but some things that Mama has that she used in the kitchen that she would like to have. So, I told her to make a list, put it on her Amazon wish list, and, um... So, hold on, I gotta open this. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and just come over here and sit down and quit wobbling y'all around. Um, anyway, I told her to put some things on her wish list because she has her own wish list and Noah does too. And then we've got um, just a family one, I guess you could say. And... Um, it took her two weeks to finally do it. She she didn't, it's like she wanted this stuff, but she didn't want us to have to spend money on her because she was afraid we didn't have the money or something like that. Like we would buy something that we really couldn't afford just because she needed it to set up her house, if that makes sense. And I told her, I was like, uh, no, we don't ever go beyond our means. You know that. We don't buy anything that we can't afford. So she she did put the stuff on her list and we were sitting there 
she's up there and I'm here. We were on the phone talking and I, we, I was going over the order and everything, telling her what all I had on there. And then I was asking her, well, do you need this or do you need that or different things like that. And we did add a few things that I thought of that she didn't even think of. And, um, you know, things she's used to using at home. But she just didn't have because she didn't have it. And it didn't cost that much or anything like that. So it wasn't like a big deal. I would have done this no matter how she left home. I would have helped her set up her home. That's what parents should do if they are able. Well, anyways, um, we were on the phone. Everything's going good. I'm like, okay, I'm fixing this to order. And I started putting everything in. I sent everything here. The whole order I sent here. I sent it to my house. So, I noticed this a couple hours later. This all happened yesterday, by the way. I noticed this a couple hours later. So, I'm like, oh no, what did I do? I did not put their address in. So, I contacted Amazon and they couldn't cancel everything. There was four items they couldn't cancel. But they did cancel the rest. Because we had like nine items. So... Last night, whenever Jeff got home, I said, well, what do you want to do? Do you want to just go ahead and make a whole new order and let the other stuff come here and us keep it? Do you want for me to try to be home to refuse the package? Because sometimes, like, if they put it in our mailbox, if it's uh, the post office sending or delivering it, I don't know when he gets here because sometimes we have um, substitute drivers whenever he or she our normal mail carrier is a is a man but then we have a a woman who does sometimes right now that's all i know of but anyway i was like do you want us to try to refuse the package because that's what amazon said we could do or to just return it do a refund or whatever and so jeff we looked through it and we were like well we need a new knife set anyway so we bought some things from amazon for us and they're gonna match Selena's <laughs> but that's okay um, we had the money to do it we had been in the market for looking for another knife set for ourselves but we weren't gonna get it right now <laughs> because we like I mean in a situation we're in with Selena we can't go shop together and actually look at the stuff and with knives that's something unless it's from a company that we know we have bought from that we're familiar with a reputable company we usually don't buy a knife unless we can look at it and hold it you know <laughs> things like that because the weights and all that stuff so um i purchased some things for myself on amazon and i, I guess i'll have an amazon haul for y'all which the knife set is supposed to come after the other three things. <laughs> I guess I'm supposed to be getting that stuff tomorrow. I don't know. Let me check the Amazon. But yeah, it was, it was funny, but not funny. It's one of those things that's like, oh man, what did I do? Let's see. That's her stuff. Um, But yeah, I made a mistake. But what was really weird, the knife set, um, it's going to get to them before it gets to us. I guess it's closer to them. I don't know. I can add instructions on theirs. Oh, maybe I need to talk to her about that. See if they want to get it delivered to the reset, uh, the office. Because they could do it either way. That's one thing, the reason why we, I was talking to them. Sorry, I got quiet. But I was talking to, to them about it because I didn't know if it was safe for, um, you know, some places it's not safe to get your packages. Sometimes it's not safe here. <laughs> I mean, it is here at my house, but in my city, there's people who have had their packages stolen. But anyway, 
that's a funny story that happened. So now I have the address saved so I can make sure that when I order something for her, it goes to her. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, all this is kind of weird the way it's set up, but that's okay. Um, it's like it's in two orders, but it's not really. Maybe part of it's been shipped and the rest hasn't. I don't know. Anyway, I'll be back whenever I'm doing something other than jabber jawing. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I do have to edit another video for the Faith Planner. So I'm going to do that now and shut up my mouth and drink my coffee. Okay, so I'm about to tackle that. Now, I'm not probably going to get all that straightened out. That's an empty bin on the bottom with clothing that are folded but not put away. Right now, the bed is not made because I'm washing, washing the sheets and everything. Um, and I'm, I'm going to wash the mattress pad. I can't get words out. We have a cooling mattress pad for our bed because the memory foam kind of gets a little warm sometimes. And that does help. So, anyway, before I can tackle that, I have to tackle this. You're probably saying, what in the world do you have a trunk there for? A plastic trunk, an ugly plastic trunk. What is that for? It's for hoodies and night attire, sleepwear. And it has become this over time. So I'm going to dump everything on the bed and I'm going to refold what needs to be refolded and organize this thing. That way, and I'm also going to go through it a little bit and get rid of the things that I don't really wear. But that way, I also have jogging pants in here. Sweat, sweat, sweatshirts, jogging pants, and sleep attire. That's what's in here. But anyways, um, I have that because we gave my dresser away my big one because we didn't have room for it in here it was just super cramped even more than it already is and so we gave it away and i was doing pretty okay until i started i, I got on this buying phase of i just bought clothes like a mad woman and i went a little stupid now i'm getting rid of those clothes slowly the ones that don't fit like I want them to, that don't feel like I want them to, that go down too far, or the ones that are just plain wore out, I'm getting rid of. Now, the ones that are wore out to the point that you wouldn't want to give them to somebody else, what we usually do is use those for cleaning cloths, like cleaning up a mess that you just don't want, like Jeff working on the car or something. You wouldn't want to keep that rag anyway, that kind of thing. So, we use the stuff until it can't be used, or we give it away if it still can be used. So, I'm going to take all the things out of this, organize and go through it. Some of the stuff is actually, I do have one drawer in that dresser in the bottom. I'm not going through that drawer. But, there's things that is that are in that drawer. No, let me say it this way. There's space in that drawer. For things that are in this. I don't know. I've been just doing things lately. But I'm going to turn these two fans off. So they won't be whirring in the background. I should have already done it. And. Stop procrastinating. And hopefully get. A little bit at a time. Straightened up in this room. Because I'm just. This is my embarrassment of, of, of my bedroom. And I usually don't bring y'all in here. Because it's a little weird. Uh bed covers that I have nowhere to put baskets that are for our bathroom redo that we still haven't had time to do a bathroom shelving unit that we still haven't had time to do these are things that I just purchased that I got to put into my bin my little toolbox that I've had for a I don't know 20 some odd years it used to be under the bed I don't know why it's not now. Um, 
This over here is like preps and stuff. We don't have anywhere else in the house to put them. So we keep them in here. That basket is one that my daddy gave me that just has stuff in it and covers and my purses are on top of it that don't belong there. So I'm gonna try to get those figured out. That's Jeff's pile of clothes over there and his pajama pants he's been wearing lately. Um, and just, it's just like all kind of stuff. Now, I'm not tackling that wall today. That's not today. I will tackle it, but not today because I don't know where we're gonna put some of that stuff. But eventually we do want to paint our bedroom because we've never done anything in our bedroom. We've never bought new furniture other than a bed. Um, actually, we've never bought a whole new bed. We've only bought mattresses. Um, but we've never done anything for ourselves in our bedroom. And we are eventually going to do that and get rid of this old ugly carpet and um, make it nice one day. <laughs> It's not a priority but right now it is a priority to get my clothes straightened up so I know what's what and what's where and I'm gonna go grab that bag that I had the giveaway bag I'm gonna go grab it and anything that I'm gonna get rid of I'm gonna stick in there but I'm gonna figure out how many articles of clothing I get rid of while I'm doing it I've got to figure out where I'm gonna set the camera up so let me do that okay so I have y'all sitting on the bed I don't know how well it's going to work out. And I may regret this, but I have dumped everything onto the bed. Hi. Um, everything is still pretty much folded. It's just discombobulated and unorganized. And I'm going to try to put these hoodies into that bottom drawer and only put nightwear into the bin. Into the chest locker, foot locker, whatever it is. But I'm going to go ahead and see about doing that. I'm not getting rid of any of my hoodies because it's not winter time. And I don't know what I'm going to be wearing this year or not. I always like to wear my hoodies. So I'm probably not going to get rid of any of them at all. And I don't have a ton anyways. So I'm going to open this drawer, put hoodies in, and then figure out the rest. Like every day, don't know what to do or what I should say. All the hoodies that were in here that's a big chunk of space that's going to be available um so i'm going to get these figured out and start putting them back into that so i can put my other sleepy clothes into it as well and i may or may not have anything i'm getting rid of i don't know yet but i just brought that bag in here just in case do is when I have a pajama set I fold the shirt into the pants that way it's always together oh hello am I there it doesn't like me right now there I am but yeah I put them together the way I just did that which y'all really couldn't tell and like I said most of this is still folded and I did find a few things I'll count them whenever I'm doing I did find a few things that I am getting rid of. See that set is already together, or it was, until I just took it apart.
I don't think that I'm being that selfish right now You said yourself you'd be breaking your vow Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things that I'm getting rid of. Now, those seven things, I really like them. They're very comfortable. But as you can see, I don't need them. I still have plenty more that I don't even have in this bin. Um, a lot of these pajama sets are winter types. So I'm going to separate those as I put them in. And I'm going to put the winter ones kind of toward the bottom because it's still hot here. And these are pants. This is only the shirt that I found. Now these pants don't have matches. They don't have like, they're not a set. This shirt is not a set, but I know I have one more of these somewhere. It could possibly be hanging in the closet. Who knows? And this is like a little gown. So, and I know I have some more of those, but I know where they are over there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff back in the bin. And then I'm going to transfer all of those other things over there onto the bed. But as I transfer them, I'm either going to go ahead and put them on a hanger or I'm going to put them in a stack of whatever they're supposed to be that way I can get all of these clothes organized and hopefully keep them that way whenever Jeff goes on third shift or my emotional state is bad clothes are washed dried folded and who cares what else that's just what happens with me I don't know why I'm that way it's just how I am I, I don't do it on purpose and it's not something because I'm lazy. It's just something that I just don't want to think about. And so I don't. I don't think about it. So I'm going to put these in the bin. And um, then I'll start organizing the things that are stacked over there. And see what happens. I got to get hangers out of the closet too. Nor this fact if you must to do what your dreams are telling you to do. And I'll be out there looking for someone like you. Should have taken a before picture, but I didn't. So let me get through these.
these aren't even mine. I don't know how that happened. All right, so I gotta get some of this stuff off the bed so that I can be able to do things. This is like a jacket, so it's not, it's gonna be hung up in the closet and I've got to find, I gotta get another thing to hang these on. Well, I've got one spot. Separate the shirts and dresses. I have two of these dresses. So if y'all ever see me in the same dress two days in a row, it's because I have two of them. Woo, stop moving. They're all coming towards me. All these are falling off because there's a dress under there that's pulling it down. There we go. All right. And I've got the shirts and dresses separated in a closet. So all I gotta do is just go put this in the closet like this. Oh, it's heavy. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the t-shirts in the little t-shirt spot where they go. Nine more pieces of clothing there. So I'm not sure how many that is because I can't remember how many I said in the beginning. But that's nine more that I don't need. They can leave my house that someone else can enjoy because there's nothing wrong with them. Now, now the bag is completely full. So we can take it to a thrift store or something like that. We usually take them to America's Thrift. So, I'm gonna see what I can do with the rest of that stuff. But I gotta move y'all. Okay, so there is something in this bin. It's a football. But I'm taking the bin out of here. And we had bought this a while back at Lowe's on clearance. And I've been meaning to put the paperwork and the little doodads that go with it into a Ziploc bag. I just haven't done it. So I'm doing that now. I may go ahead and put the charger in it too, but let me sit y'all up there. Mm, that's a little better. Anyway, I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag so that I can have it together and throw the box away. I'm cutting my head off, but whatever, it's fine. And um, the massager is actually on my vanity for now, so I'll put that there. This is our beach bag, and I don't have anywhere to store it, but it's got like things like sunblock and toiletries for whenever you go to the, sun, to the beach. I don't have anywhere to store it. So I gotta figure that out. This is a little bag. I gotta figure out what to do with it. It's got stuff in it. I don't even know what I was in it. There's another part to that massager. And this is something that Jeff and I bought for putting on our wall after we painted it. We just haven't done it yet. And this is a bag of like medical supplies. It can go over there with the other stuff. And then, I just move this box and this area will be straightened out like well there's a charging thing I'll be able to get to my drawers easier and I have noticed while doing this I really need to go through this these drawers and I'm cutting myself off so much it's annoying me let me scooch up a little bit. But I need to go through these drawers, which is where my underclothes are, and socks and stuff like that, all my undershirts and things like that. And then um, I need to go through that bottom drawer, which is my stuff. Not doing that today, but I am happy to have this moved, this stuff out of here. I'm gonna put the beach bag and the other bag in my closet, I think. Um, I may have to get Jeff or Noah to put it in the top of the closet. And I'm also going to get my purses put up there somewhere. But this will be done. And I feel better because my clothes are put away and organized. And now I don't have any place to put the clothes. So I'm forced to put them away because I'm not going to just sit them on the floor. If that makes sense. 
so let's go on to whatever we're doing next because I don't know what we're doing next but this feels nice I can walk up to my dresser or chest of drawers but yeah and this will be trashed and I got rid of more stuff more clothes which is good Okay, so I didn't take y'all with me, but Noah and I just went to Sam's because we needed to get his battery tested because his Camaro has been acting weird. Found out it was exactly what I thought the battery was bad. Um, so, got that done. So now I'm going to, I didn't share putting those in the, lawn, in the whatever that thing is, the washing machine, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the darkness again, I guess. Um, <laughs> take these clothes out of the dryer, put the other ones in here, drop the basket on my toes, ow, and then I bit my lip. What's going on with me? I can't tell. I'm losing it. Anyways, oh dear, that's way back there. That was in the way back where. Battery's dying on the camera. So, I just want to let y'all know what we were doing. I didn't have to tell y'all about that part, I guess. But this is a day in a life. This is what's happening in my day, in my life. I'll be back later whenever I start doing something. I'm just swapping clothes right now. I don't know if I'm going to make the bed yet. <laughs> we'll see. No, I can't. can't make the bed until I wash that cover, the... As I was saying before my camera quit because the battery was dying and I knew it was dying and I should have shut my mouth anyway <laughs> I can't make the bed until the mattress cover is washed and dried so I'm gonna do that now because I want to sleep in a clean bed tonight with sheets <laughs> so I've got this finished now the um cover the mattress cover the gel cover anyway I got that finished so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on and I'm gonna make the bed but crazy me threw all the clothes in the same basket with the sheets that were dry so now I've got to go through them but I gotta put this on and then I'll go through them and fold here on the bed while that I'm doing all the things but gotta get that on there first and go from there. May you always find your way to higher ground May you always keep your head held up high Pretty little thing you're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference, oh you make me strong Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within Tell that you're tough Ordering a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go You will always keep my heart and soul strong So I have all those folded, but it seems that then this was three loads of clothes. All these things were not washed together. Anyway, um, this was wrapped inside of the fitted sheet. So because I had thrown this in the washer last night when I took it off and didn't think about it, so I washed it with the sheet and um, I washed Noah's part of his uniform with the sheets because he threw it in there. 
But anyway, this was wrapped up. So needless to say, it's not dry. So I gotta put this back in the, hold on. I've gotta put that back in the dryer and I can't make the bed. So, I'm gonna make the bed um, later. I'm gonna go ahead and just get the pillowcases on, get all of these things put away that I can, and wait however long it takes for that to get dry. But, um, I don't know what we're having for dinner because what I was going to make, I don't really want. And it's already 7 p.m. Jeff is not home yet. So we'll decide what we're gonna have whenever he gets home. And, um, oh, it's so dark because I have those lights off. Anyway, I will let you guys know. Hi. See, it's a lot brighter over here. It's amazing what lighting can do. What in the world? Maybe I don't want lighting. Look at my hers. Anyway, what was I saying? I don't know what we're having for dinner. I'll figure that out, and I'll let you guys know whenever I know. Um, but all I can do to the bed right now is put the pillowcases on and wait for the fitted sheet to get dry. I could put a whole new set on, but I really just didn't want to fold those. So, I'll be back. I'm gonna take Noah his clothes, and it's very dark in there. You're the first thing in the morning and the last. Baby, you're my future and you are my past. Pretty little thing. You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Ordering a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go you will always keep my heart and soul strong Okay, so the bed is made. Um, I'm having to fix something on a video that the thumbnail, one of the letters was the wrong color. All of them were the same color, but the other one wasn't. But anyway, my video for tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., my faith planner, faith journal video. I was finishing it up. Uh, the bed's made. It's good enough because we're gonna be getting in it in a few hours because it's already almost 7.30. I do not know what we're having for supper. I do not know if I've already said that or not, <laughs> but I don't know what we're doing for dinner, supper, whatever you wanna call it. Um, Cause Jeff's not home and he is supposed to be on his way home. Sorry about my computer noises. I'm trying to get my SD card ready to go for next time. Uh, this is my SD card for my planner videos. I have two for the camera I'm using right now. Two for the Canon that I have for any videos whenever I am. This one, where's it at? Right there. <laughs> um, any videos that I'm sitting down and showing y'all something like this, that on a table. Like, I don't know how to explain it. My videos that have, like, for my uh, planners and all. So I don't know what we're doing about supper. Still don't know. And he's not home. But I'm not doing what I was going to do. I was going to do potato soup. But 
I, I just, uh, that's not happening. It's already too late. Um, if, honestly, I should have went ahead and started it, whether he was going to be home or not. But I just didn't want to, honestly. And I didn't really want that. Um, that's why I say be flexible with your meal plan. What we will probably do, I can't get this out of here, is, uh, just do something that we have in the freezer as a quick meal or um, we don't have any leftovers to do. We'll either do that or like breakfast for dinner. I don't know. I gotta talk to Jeff so I'll figure it out. But as of now I don't know. We were supposed to go grocery shopping today, and we didn't uh, because Jeff wasn't home, and because also he was supposed to work today. I said that earlier though, but since we didn't get to go today, we're gonna go tomorrow. We were had thought about before um, he found out that they had called off work today. We had thought about going this morning before um, he went to work, but since he didn't have to go, we're just gonna go tomorrow. And Noah wants to go shop for some cargo pants too, so we'll just be doing those things instead. And um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I really don't know what else to record because I don't know what we're doing for supper. Maybe what I will do is, um, Oh, the Roku screen savers got me. But uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll just tell y'all what we had tomorrow, if I can remember to tell you. I don't know. We'll see. It's corner when he comes home. Because I'm going to have to start getting this video. I'm going to have to close this video out and get to editing it to be able to get it to you guys in a timely manner. So, it's just corner when he comes home. So, I will be back at some point hopefully maybe if not this is the end <laughs> i'm just joking that's not gonna be the end i don't do it that way <laughs> i'll be back okay so jeff got home from work he asked me where did all this stuff go in the bedroom whenever he came in here but anyways <laughs> i told him it was none of his business he just laughed at me um but anyway i told him i put stuff away but um noah ate I don't know if y'all remember, but I had made that lasagna and froze some of it, like in the individual portions. Noah ate that, and Jeff and I are gonna eat some bacon sandwiches. So I won't be showing y'all our dinner tonight, but that's what we're having. Um, because it's simple. He didn't get home until a little after seven because he got caught in a bad storm. And I, I didn't know what was taking him so long, but he got caught in a bad storm. But he's okay. He's fine. Um, he, he enjoyed his time. Uh, but I guess that's all for today. I will see y'all next time. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you got something out of it. I know I did. I got clean spaces in my house, clean bed, clean towels. That is a good thing. But. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Do all the YouTube things if you would like to. But what I would really like for you to do is leave me a comment down below. Tell me how you're doing. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels. And be sweet.